Are you preparing for a demo class in an English medium school? Want to impress your interview panel with confidence and creativity? Then this video is exactly what you need. Welcome to Active Teachers Corner. I am Shubhlakshmi and today I am going to show you how to take a perfect EVS demo class on the topic ecosystem with a strong start, engaging activities and a perfect closing. Whether you are a B.Ed student, interview candidate or fresher teacher, this model class will guide you step by step. Make sure you watch till the end to get a worksheet, sample recap questions and tips that can boost your demo performance and don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with other aspiring teachers. Let us now proceed directly to our demo class video. Good morning children. I hope you are all feeling energetic today. My name is Shubhalakshmi and I am your new EVS teacher. Okay children, what is the date today? Yes, 30. Which day? Yes, Friday. Our subject is EVS. Okay children, let's start with a fun puzzle. I will describe something and you tell me what it is. Okay? I give life to all. I have forests, rivers and animals. I am the home for both humans and insects. What am I? Yes, nature or ecosystem. Very good. Okay children, today we will explore something amazing about how everything in nature is connected. Children, have you ever wondered animals, plants, water, air, even soil work together like a team? Today's topic is ecosystem. Let us say together, yes, ecosystem. So, today's our topic is ecosystem. An ecosystem is a place where all living things like plants, animals and non-living things like water, air and soil work together. Can you name some living things and non-living things around you? Yes, birds, living things, water, non-living things, very good. Children, now I have something very interesting to show you. Okay, this is our ecosystem. It has four important parts, plants, animals, sunlight and soil, water and air. All these things are connected. They depend on each other to live and grow. Now, let us see how each one helps the others. Now, let us imagine something. What if we remove one part of this circle? What will happen if we remove plants from this circle? Can animals survive without plants? No, because animals need plants for food. Children, if there is no water, can plants and animals live? No, they all need water. Okay children, what happens if there is no sunlight? Plants can't make food without sunlight and animals can't eat. Ok children, can soil be healthy without dead plants and animals? No, they make the soil rich. Children, can we live without clean air? No, we need air to breathe, right? Ok children, now let us think about something very important. It is called balance in nature. Ok, what is balance? In nature, Everything must be in the right amount. Not too many animals, not too few plants, not too much cutting of trees. Clean air, enough water, healthy soil, all in balance. Let me give you an example. If we have too many animals and not enough plants, what will happen? 
yes the animals won't get enough food children if we cut too many trees what happens to birds and animals that live on trees exactly they lose their homes so when one part is too much or too little the whole nature gets affected so that is why we say balance is yes very very important okay children now let us sing a song are you all ready plants give food air and shade animals live in the forest glade water flows and soil stays strong together they sing the nature song children did you enjoy the song try to learn it okay okay tell me what is an ecosystem yes an ecosystem is a place where all living things like plants and animals and non living things like water air soil work together very good okay children why is balance important in nature yes because all living and non living things depend each other if one part is too much or missing everything else suffer a balanced nature is healthy and happy okay children now i am going to give you a worksheet complete it and give me okay okay first one match the pairs one plants two animals three water four soil fifth one sunlight a helps plants to grow b gives food and oxygen c gives life to all d home for animals e need plants to food match with correct pair okay do fast did you finish okay the next one tick the correct answer why is balance in nature important a so we can cut trees b so all living things stay healthy c so animals eat junk food tick the correct one finish okay give it to me okay okay children today we learned that an ecosystem is like a family every member is important if we care for nature nature will care for us so let us promise to protect every part of nature thank you all